<laughs> Guys, this is so silly. I'm at Tractor Supply right now. I'm trying to buy one of their uh, ATVs. And I'm trying to see if any of them are reasonable or if it's just, you know, kind of far-fetched or not a good investment. But y'all check this out. Yep. All right. I forgot what this one's called. Do you know what it's called? It's an like Echo Greenworks. Echo Greenworks. We're going to see how smooth it drives. Let's go. This is the first person point of view right here. Do y'all see how low I am to the ground? <laughs> oh, this is so silly. Can I do one more lap? All right, I'm gonna do one more lap and then I'm gonna come back around. Oh my goodness, this is so silly right here, guys. This thing goes up to 25 miles an hour. Y'all think this is a tight fit though for an adult? You think this would be a good fit for the farm? Honestly, I'm not thinking so. There's, a, there's two other ones that have a little more potential, but uh, <laughs> this is kind of fun. Whoa, look how fast I'm going. Oh my goodness, this is silly. This is so silly. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Yeah, one of these two right here is uh, either that one or maybe that one right there might have a little more potential, I'm thinking. All right, this time we're in the, uh, I'm not sure what you call this thing. It's like a little buggy, almost. This one is a little bit more durable holds up to 400 pounds of weight i weigh almost 200 so i can fit another passenger with me the other one only held 300 so i wouldn't even be able to have a second passenger with me if i uh, got that first one that little tiny go-kart yeah but this is like a buggy holds a little more weight so i can hold a bag of feed with me goes a little faster it's up to about 30 miles an hour the other one only does 25 let me Let me change the point of view real quick. So we have a little bit more space, not as tight of a fit in here, but still not roomy or spacey by any means. I kinda, I'm gonna try to turn on the gas as soon as I stop seeing cars coming. This one's a gas powered vehicle. The other one was electric. I actually like the feel of the electric one better. I feel like it accelerates and decelerates a lot more smoothly. Let's go fast right here. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. I feel like it exhausts the vehicle too much, barely just accelerating. So I'm gonna say no for that. Oh, we weren't going fast, we were in second gear. I'm putting it in third gear now, we're going to see how we do. of like what they are oh my goodness buddy what do you have here they have chicks and they're not mine they'd be hers they'd of course they're not yours you did so good penny if you had any more under them that might come out definitely so you think we're just at three right now it's gonna be more soon there's definitely one that just took sorry i'm i'm like trying to practice vent sexing there is be careful that stinging grass okay, okay can you, get I back mean, get back under there little chick well, Come I'm about to pick her up to show Come you. Come on, Penny, let her in. Or let's him or her in. Let yeah, it... I, don't, I have no clue. I know what to look for, <laughs> but it's so... They're so tiny. Weird. Oh, my goodness, okay. they're going to be all fat. Like... Mom, mom, mom. Oh, she has a few more eggs in there yeah, still. Yeah, so this one's pet. Aw, you did so good. I'm so proud of you, little Penny. Good job. You did so good, little mama. Where is she? She's in my hands. I'm trying to video her a little bit. You did so good, little mama Penny. Kara face, she's so mad. But she's Hold just. On, one more thing. One thing I gotta do, as always. 
Skin cells. Yes, exactly. Look at those feathers up close and personal, you guys. Isn't that crazy right there? Oh my goodness, that's cool. That's something cool. Look, look at those are babies. Go lay on them. Get comfy on them. Smother them, but you know. Oh, they gotta go under you. You're on the steep grass. Okay. Here, little babies. Go under mama's wing. Come on. Angel's like, Dad, feed me. It's time. Guys, this right here is the dumbest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my goodness. So Beverly is trying to fit her mouth in there, trying to get the cracked corn. And Starla literally plopped her whole body in the in the trough so that <laughs> she plopped. Oh, hey, okie dokie. Starla has plopped her entire body in the whole trough so that Beverly can't steal any food from her. I said it was stupid. It might be like stupid looking, like funny, but... Now that I'm kind of thinking about it, that might be kind of genius. Is she genius, okie dokie? Is Starla the next prodigy? Is she the next Einstein of goats? That is brilliant because now Beverly is disarmed. Beverly's just standing there like, well, I'll just wait for her to be done. She's literally letting Starla wait. She's waiting her turn for Starla to finish eating. If it were the other way around where they were both out here on their hind legs, Beverly would move Starla out of the way so quickly. It's not even funny. Oh my goodness. Well, now she's trying to get in there and share, but that is actually a really clever tactic. Can you believe that, Gus Gus? Isn't that crazy? Oh my goodness. All right, guys, so I'm inside the house right now. Meg has her little goaties following her. It's so sweet. But uh, she just noticed way off in the distance over there. Look at that. 15X zoomed in. This is my new iPhone 15 Pro Max. This right here is insane camera quality that could only come from a phone like this that is so far in the distance guys look how far away that is i'm going to zoom back out so y'all see just how far it is this right here is normal magnification here's my hand I'm inside the house as you can see and then we zoom all the way in man that is just oh that is unfathomable how good this camera is there's some other cool features that this phone has that i want to tell you guys about in a second one of them will actually allow you guys to get in contact with me directly about farm information, about potential rescues, a good way to reach out to me. I've given my email before and stuff like that and had other ways like that y'all could reach me, but I honestly don't check those a whole lot. So this new method available via my new phone will make it a lot easier to get in contact with me. So let me explain that to y'all in a second after I sit here and admire these deer off in the distance. Wow. Isn't that so cool, buddy? Can you hear me? Isn't that so cool? Mm -hmm. Isn't that so cool, lovey? It's a family of four. A family of four. <laughs> but you gotta see this right here. Look how amazing. So this right here is 1X magnification. And then when I zoom in all the way to 15, look how, look how That's good. That's crazy, you can see it really well. Uh -huh. I could see inside Joanne's house if I wanted to. No, okay, kidding. let's not do that. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the cool feature I was mentioning a second ago is that my new phone has, it gives me two phone numbers with the plan that I bought, and that is so, so cool for a number of reasons. So I have my personal number that obviously my friends and my family have access to, my personal line, as they call it, but my second line is my business line. And so that part is going to be really, really cool. I'll put that phone number on the screen right now so y'all can see it. That right there is my business line. So y'all can send me a text message um, about any possible inquiries, maybe animals. If you have like an important farm question or something like that, or if we're to be expecting something in the mail, just different things. Don't blow it up, please. I ask that you keep it like, you know, relevant and important stuff. If you have something really special you'd like to share with me, then I always welcome that. I love seeing you guys' stories and seeing things about your personal lives and your pets and just your family. Prayer requests are always welcome. You know, just the, the usual things. But, you know, I just hope that we can keep it, you know, important. So I'm willing to give it a shot. That's my business line right there. If you want to reach out to me. I know my dad and Jamie are thinking about moving some animals back to their property. We're going to be doing some rearranging around the sanctuary and Longhorn Lesters and stuff like that. So we're not going to try to rush out and go buy a bunch of animals or anything like that. But 
we probably will need a few to a few extra to kind of maintain our pastures a little bit easier because the ones that we have now are having a hard enough time as it is the grass is growing faster than i expected and they're having a hard time eating it all so we're thinking about bringing some goats back but anyways any new rescues maybe some good grass eating animals and stuff like that just any rescues in general just whatever is out there whatever y'all know about whatever you hear about just uh, the business line is there for things like that and so yeah guys with all that said i hope y'all enjoyed this video y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see i hope you all have an incredibly blessed day and as i always say your boy ellie out